Alright guys, how you all doing? I'm TST here and today we have some plenty of information more of like uh, AMD Radeon stuff so we'll look into it but firstly we have Intel Core i5 3500 engineering sample got leaked in benchmark and it's getting 4.8 gigahertz of boost in only single core basically and if you look into the CPZ test here it's getting 767 uh, single core basically and then multi-core is getting 8 8,227.5 so basically this is an engineering sample by the way and it's getting like around this which is not that great but not bad either because considering this is engineering sample it's gonna be a bit slower and probably the later ones you know the actual product should be much faster than this hopefully we'll reach over 5 gigahertz I'm hoping because if, if not then it's kind of bad but yeah, basically, if you compare if you compare with 12500, 13500 got 10% in CPUZ ST test and MT, which is which is less uh, multi-core basically 68% boost. Again, engineering samples getting that, so not not bad. And uh, Cinebench R23 is got it's getting 6%, you know, in single thread, and in the multi-thread uh, again 60%. So the multi-thread is looking good, but single core is still not quite because you know single core will determine the better gaming performance usually it, it is the case so yeah not not too you know good good here in single threads but in multi threads yeah it's looking good and compared to 13400 it's getting five percent in a single thread again not a huge boost so we'll see how it goes and in multi threads getting 25 percent which is understandable yeah makes sense so yeah like it's not a bad, again, it's an engineering sample, but the later product should be faster than this. And next up we have Sapphire, basically, uh, just got this in Amazon and they just launched their, well, basically the uh, reference card for the AMD uh, Radeon RX 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT, basically. And if you look into it, it's basically the same card from AMD, the reference card, so nothing surprising here. So they're going to be selling this, hopefully. So yeah, they're going to be launching this soon enough, hopefully, because, you know, it's it's quite not far away. It's going to be launching soon. So, yeah, it's right here. It's basically the same, same, literally the same, because, you know, it's a reference model. And it has been listed already, but not available yet, which is understandable. So, yeah, they're preparing up for their launch, I believe. And it's gonna be nice. Next up, we have Mamama underscore US also sharing some information regarding the Radian GPU. And this is the Power Color Hellhound, basically. And if you look into it, yeah, it's uh, it's the MSRP model, by the way. And yeah, the, the 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT both will feature this model for the Hellhound series. And I have to say, it's not aesthetically that appealing, you know, it's not that great. I wouldn't consider that to be. You know, because it's an MSRP model, cheaper model, you know. Uh, basically, their uh, Hellhound models are the, you know, entry level. Or I shouldn't say entry level because it's a 7900 XT, even though they're quite cheap. But yeah, makes sense that it's, they're going to be making this for the Hellhound. But all in all, the cooling looks fine. I mean, we can't really tell right now. After testing, we might be able to tell. We also have one more information, and that is this picture just indicates that it is a three-slot card, basically. As you can see in the Hellhound series, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be a three-slot card. So if you have, I mean, I hope the thickness is not too big. I mean, looking at it, it does look like the thickness is quite big. Uh, hopefully, it will fit in cases. It should, because aim aim to never face this problem of fitting cases, you know. So I believe this is gonna be fine. And next up, we have information about the Zen 4 3D, basically, and. Well, we have multiple information, and that is the Zen sorry, Ryzen 7000 X 3D will be coming at 16, 12, and 8 core, not just 8 core only. We'll have 16 core and 12 core. Basically, the probably the 7950 X 3D or 79 or 7900 X 3D. That's how they should go. Uh, yeah, basically 7800 X 3D is there. It is, there, but there is a another information that says that uh, the 8 core model will not be. I mean, it's either going to be 7700 or 7800 X3D, either one of those. I believe they're going to go with 7800, I don't know, maybe, yeah. Uh, and they're also going to uh, saying that, I mean, this guy, Harukase, basically, 
uh, saying this, that clock speed will remain the same or almost the same, which is expected. But to be honest with you, it should be a little bit higher because, you know, the previous generation, like the 5800X3D 5, had a higher clock. So in this case, it should also have higher clock, no? But I mean, it's already quite high, the clocks, so it should be fine. And the expected uh, launch should be January 23. So yeah, basically CES, that's what it indicates. Yeah. We also have one more information, and that is that all the 3D parts are going to be 170 watts. So they're going to be power hungry, basically. 170 watts is not a little bit power. It's quite a lot for CPUs. Uh, it's, it feels like AMD is turning into Intel here. Yeah, basically. And lastly, we have a bad news. Basically, a terrible news. And I have to enclose that terrible news because you need to know about this. NVIDIA launched their, uh, basically the GeForce RTX 3060. I believe you already know this news, but I'm still covering this a bit late, but still I should cover it. That they launched RTX 3060 8 gigs model, but there is a catch here. The performance is on average 17% worse than 3060 12 gigs. And well, it's terrible because the pricing is still the same in all the cases basically yeah that's the surprising part it's 8 gigs but the pricing for 3060 is literally the same all over the place like literally 3060 and 3060 12 gigs and 3060 8 gigs both of them are same in pricing but the performance is worse and not only that the packaging if you look into it closely look at that in my cursor the 3060 they just mentioned GeForce RTX 3060 they don't tell you right here that is 8 gigs in the front page. If you, I mean, if you look into closely, then you will figure out that, yeah, it's an 8 gigs model and it's a 12 gigs model. So, NVIDIA is, all, again, confusing people with their 12 gigs and 8 gigs models. Because they are not the same card. That 8 gigs and 12 gigs shouldn't have performance decrease because it's just VRM or VRAM, not VRM, VRAM differences. They shouldn't have performance decrease and that's... That's bad, basically. So, if you cannot find an RTX 12 gigs, do not buy 8 gigs because it's the same price, and you're gonna get ripped off. Because look at the performance here. The average is 17% lower, and at at maximum, it's I believe it's like 27%. I I could be wrong in that number, but I think yeah, at maximum, it is 27% worse. And again, the worst case scenario I'm talking about but in average it's like 17% uh, which is not bad and again it's coming from uh, hardware unbox here if you haven't watched it you should watch it yeah 26% look at that so yeah you should watch that uh, it just gives you a lot of details and look at that he also mentioned the same thing that uh, there's literally nothing mentions that it's is it a 12 gigs model or an 8 gigs model so don't get confused buying this it's a uh, it's a really sketchy situation from nvidia here all right that is it for today i hope you're doing good and also enjoyed the video and of course you tell me what you think about uh well the amd radiant cars there well the hellhound is not that visually appealing but again it's a msrp model so it won't be that much visually appealing performance matters the most and also what do you think about the 3d models at last they're getting uh we're getting the all kinds of 3d models like the 16 core 12 core and 8 core so yeah more more choices to you know consider and of course nvidia doing their sketchy work anyway like share and subscribe and of course have a good day